couple of standout features in the uh, year end of June 2012. Um, the company, uh, there, there's, as I say, there was a lot of uh, numbers in terms of ups and downs uh, in the numbers that perhaps I can uh, give a little bit more colour to. Um, what we had during the period is uh, we had two large uh, customers where on the one uh, client at the SAPS, uh, the South African Police Services, um, uh, the contract expired and they opted to uh, renew it with, a, with another party and that significantly impacted our revenues and our cost base. Uh, the other uh, contract was with APSA where the bank decided to insource part of the services that we had outsourced, um, that we've been offering outsourced services uh, for them over time. So uh, that did significantly impact our revenues and we accordingly had to uh, impact the cost base. Um, so what we did is we took some uh, 200 odd million rands uh, worth of costs out of the cost base to realign in terms of the, uh, the reduced revenue levels. Um, and we also had to reorganize uh, in terms of uh, how we delivered uh, some of these services, obviously with the loss of economies of scale. So on the one hand we had the revenue uh, impacted by the loss of these con uh, two contracts. Nevertheless, we did still maintain pretty much a flat revenue level on what we achieved last year, which means that the revenue, the lost revenue from those contracts is in fact being made up by other parts of the business. So that was made up there. Um, the fact is that, uh, as I did allude to, it did have quite an impact on the, uh, on the financial results and on the, on the cost base. Um, the other thing that we also implemented um, at, during the, the financial period is we've been moving our business from a product or service centric business to a more client centric uh, business so that we realign our business in terms of the industries that, uh, that we serve. And those are principally the public sector, financial services, mining manufacturing. Those uh, three sectors make up some 80 odd percent of our revenue. Um, and what we're doing is realigning the business to be client-centric rather than to sell products or services. Um, the actual cash cost of the uh, client-centricity, uh, the direct cash cost, was some 20 odd million rand, uh, 23 million rand for the financial period, uh, which came straight off the bottom line. But the change in terms of change of personnel, uh, we had a lot of new senior level appointments, some senior level uh, departures uh, in line with the new model. That obviously also impacted on the results um, and as I say it impacted the bottom line directly um, but also affected the revenue generation. So th those features uh, left the, the business in a loss making position. Um, obviously uh, from our perspective we've we've done it to invest uh, in terms of improving the business for the future and uh, we hope that it'll put the business in a stronger position uh, in terms of revenue generation and also aligning the cost base correctly uh, to get to the right sort of margins that we want to achieve in future period. So in the uh, prior financial year um, one of the big standout items in the in the results was the uh, large write-off of the Huama Online settlement that we had with the Department of Home Affairs. Um, that was some 374 million rand before tax, um, which resulted in a 200 odd million rand uh, loss after tax uh, that we reported last year. So from that perspective, um, the loss that we reported this year at 50 million rand is an improvement in the um, uh, in. Uh, from last year's performance, but obviously still not where we'd like to, to see the business. Um, we did believe, or we, we had the business I think on the right uh, trajectory um, uh, post last year's large write-off, but these other items have come in and have obviously impacted the numbers for, for the financial year. So I said earlier we've seen revenue flat. Um, at the EBITDA level, we, I guess uh, we, we measure um, the business. That was a, a break-even um, and it was impacted by a lot of these once-off costs relating to the restructuring and what have you.